right. Today I'm going to take you over to the bakery. I'm going to show you the guest room doors, the uh, valley doors which you would go into to get into the guest room. Also going to show you what we do with the interior doors such as the bathrooms and the bedroom doors and how we harvest those and keep those for future use as well as the door jams and the door casing. So it's all about doors today. Head pieces to the door jams. Really cool joinery methods here. That's the way they joined the header piece to the legs. These were the inside guest rooms. You have bathroom doors and closet doors. We have them down here organized. They're all organized by what size they are, being the width, which way they swing, whether it's a left-hand door or a right-hand door. I also have some notes as far as the hinge placement, and they're organized in stacks accordingly. 848 of them in this room alone. So we've got a lot of doors to work with, and we'll use as many as we can. This is one of the valet doors, and this is really just a carcass of the door. That valet insert was in this area. These doors would never meet fire code, but we can pay a little homage to it. So what we've done is we've removed the insert out of this door, and I've got a room full of them in here and another room over there. We'll take one of these and we'll saw cut around the perimeter, keeping the door, as you can probably see here, a valley door on the outside with just this thin veneer of it. We'll apply that using epoxy to a fire rated door. It'll take several of these to make one and we'll have four per floor, just right as you get off the elevator that'll have the valet door look. Here's an example of a guest room door. They're called valet doors for a specific purpose. They're really unique. You can see it's got a double-sided cabinet on it. And this side being the guest room side. And you see it has a latch cabinet on the inside. Got a place to hang your clothes. So when you were done with your clothes for the evening, you hang your dirties in here, latch your door back. So during the night, the valet would come, open up the key, or open up the door using the key, take the dirty clothes down to the laundry. They would be cleaned and pressed. They'd come back, open it back up, hang them there, and then the guests would be able to go back in their side in the morning and have clean, Press clothes, ready to go for the day. And this door happens to be Miss Eileen Stringer. She's still living here in Mineral Wells. She's 92 years old, and she was the last person to walk out of the baker when it closed for business in 72. So she's the last one that locked the door and walked away. But then when the time came and it closed, here I am trying to get everything out. And my late husband told me, you'll be late, Eileen. They'll turn the electricity off and you'll be late getting out of here. So we got downstairs, electricity goes off. I said, Dick, my late husband, I said, my photograph books are up there on the coffee table. We've got to get them. So with the maintenance man, we walked six flights of stairs with a flashlight. She's the last one that locked the door and walked away. And she was so sweet, she gave me a guest room key, the key to her room. We found her door and we restored her lock set and her door and presented it to her at a party last New Year's Eve, and she was able to come up on stage and unlock the door she locked in 72. Uh, they met here in the Brazos Club, they got engaged here at the hotel, and then lived here from 68 to 72. This was the door they lived behind for four years and it meant a lot to her and she, she kept her key. I mean, her key is pristine. It's like it's been a treasure of hers her whole life. So we want to pay honor to her and her husband and put their door in the museum and let it live on. And uh, we'll have the key and a photo of her and her husband in there and tell their story. It's a big part of the hotel. And we're determined she'll be the first guest to come back in and stay here too. So we're going to get this place finished up and have Miss Stringer be our first guest. Hopefully I can make it till you open that. Oh yeah, you're gonna make it. I've got you're, to. You're gonna make it. Got Last to. one out's gotta be the first one in. Oh, thank you so much. I hope so, I uh -huh. really do, I'll tell you. But never know, do we, from one day to the next. Yeah.